I am Anil Kumar and now let us practice how to round decimal numbers to whole numbers. So the question here is round the following decimal numbers to whole numbers. So all these numbers are decimal numbers. The first one is 3.2, then 4.6, 6.7, 3.9, 0.85, 1.53. .5, you can pause the video write down the answer and then check with my solution now rounding to decimal rounding decimal numbers to whole numbers means what let's try to understand we'll understand 3.2 first so if i have a number line let's say this is zero and this is uh, we divide one particular unit into 10 small units so this is let's say 10 small units one one tenth two tenth three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So that becomes 1. So that becomes 1 for us, right? Similarly, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 10th one becomes number 2, right? So each division is divided into 10 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 equal parts. So if I have a number which is let us say 1.2, I'm taking a different example, not these ones. This is for you to practice. If I take 1.2, that means from 0, let's say draw a line 1 and point 0.2, this is point 0.1, this is point 0.2, is that much long. So this line represents 1.2. When we are saying rounding to whole numbers, that means we have to round to these numbers. So you need to check whether you are closer to one, that is one whole, or to two holes. Well, clearly, you are closer to one. So we'll round this to one. Do you see that? If you have a line which is, let us say, 1.6, in that case, this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, right? So the line is going to be that long. Clearly, this line is closer to 2 and therefore we round it to 2. So if you are closer to a bigger whole number, you round it to that higher number or you round to the number itself which is given here as a whole number. So that is the concept. Now in between what we have here is 0 0.5, right? So in between, this is 0 0.5. So we always check if the number is on the right side of 0 0.5, including 0 0.5, you round higher. That is to say that if I have another line, which is, let us say, 1.5 up to here then this will also be rounded to let us say this is 1.5 then this will be rounded to higher number which is 2 you get the idea so if at the decimal tenth place this is the decimal tenth place since these numbers are 1 tenth 2 tenth 3 tenth 4 tenth and 5 tenths then they round to a higher whole number but if it is lower than 0.5 then you just draw up that number. Do you get the idea? So I'll do three questions for you and leave these three for you to practice. Okay, let's begin with part B, which is 4.6. Rounding 4.6 to whole number means it could be, you could think like this, it could be 4 or it could be 5. These two whole numbers are close to 4.6. You can see since this number is 5 or more, you round it to higher and therefore we round this to number 5. Do you get an idea? Since this 6 is 5 or more. So we are looking for 10th place being 5 or more, right? So if 10th place is 5 or more, we round higher. So let me write down 10th place. is 5 or more round higher else 
drop decimals. Okay. Now let's take the second one. 3.9. 3.9 is much more than 5. So this will round to number 4. 1.53. 5 is also higher and therefore it will round to 2. Correct? 1 more than 1. Right? Let me add a number where the decimal place is not greater than 5. If I have 6.4 in that case in that case it will round to whole number 6 since tenth place of 4 is less than 5. Do you see that? So that rounds to 6. Drop the decimals. That is what I mean by saying drop the decimals. Do you see that? So the rule is check tenth place. If 10th place is 5 or more, round higher, else drop decimals. So that is what you need to do when rounding to whole numbers. I hope the concept is clear. Thank you and all the best.